Stress. It's a natural part of life. Everyone experiences it sometime, and it's just something you can't control. But what you can control is how you manage that stress. Well, luckily for you, I'm here to tell you about the Camuso Shift. You know that moment when you just have to stop and take a deep breath? Well, the Shift helps you do just that. This is a necklace that has a small metal tube at the end of it, and this tube is specially engineered for you to take the proper deep breath. Apparently there's actually a right and wrong way to do it, something that I didn't know until I started using my shift. Inspired by the Kamuso monks of 17th century Japan, the shift uses modern science and ancient wisdom to decrease stress hormones, regulate blood pressure, loosen up muscle, and slow down your heartbeat. It's been highly acclaimed by many health professionals such as Scientific American, Healthline Media, Berkeley University of California, as well as Harvard Medical School. If you visit their website right now and use the code 18 JasonM at checkout, you will receive 15% off on all orders. Support the podcast today, but more importantly, support your mental health. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the real... What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Real Talk Central podcast. For today's episode, I get to reconnect with an old friend from high school. He was in the grade above me. We performed in band together for about three years-ish. And once he graduated, we kept in touch over social media, but we haven't really gotten the chance to like sit down and have a nice conversation. But today we finally reconvene and talk about multiple things like what we've been up to, how we've been. We're also gonna talk about different things like video games we used to play and stuff like that. And so without further ado, let's welcome Josh onto the show. How you been, Josh? I've been all right, man. I've been all right. Just chilling and going at this point. How are you? That's good. I- I've been really good. Um, I'm, I'm sitting in my college dorm right now, uh, despite every crazy thing that's going on with like online classes this year. <laughs> are all your classes online or are they like? It's, it's like blended. I, I forgot where you went to school. Where, where'd you go off to? I, I, if you want me to like censor it, I could do that. No, no, you're good. Um, no, I go to the University of St. Francis and Juliet. It's about like 30, 35 minute drive from Plainfield, really. Okay, that's what I thought. That's I, I try to remember where you went. That was my guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are pretty, you a commuter? Yeah, now I am. I used to I used to live on campus too, but now I now I just commute. Yeah. I can handle it. <laughs> True, yeah. When I was a freshman, I'd be driving, like, I'd have to go there, like, every single day, staying there, like, long hours. Now it's like, you know... I'm only yeah. there like once or twice a week. You know? <laughs> so yeah, well, what have what have you been doing since like the last time we like actually like had a real conversation? It's been such a long time. <laughs> I know, well, we're talking about four years now. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah that's like a like a stupid long time. <laughs> um, no, yeah. Um, so I'm a senior right now, so pretty much just getting ready for, I guess, adulting. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like dental school is where I'm trying to go. Um, okay. I don't know where exactly, but hopefully it's somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, man, just pretty much just working and um, going to school and just doing my thing at this point. Yeah. Is, uh, well, what's your specific major? Uh, well, bio. Bio is my major with the minor in chemistry. So, okay, yeah, cool. Probably like the four hardest years of my life at this point. <laughs> yeah. When one was an interesting question here. When was the last time you uh, you played in a band? Because that's how we met and stuff. True. I haven't played in the band in like a long, long, <laughs> long time. Like I, I, at least not like a marching band. At least like, yeah. I played in like you know drumming bands. You know, not frequently, but a little while ago, I used to play with my church. Okay, that's cool. that, was, that was something cool that I did. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'm still going to school with all of our, um, a lot of the friends that we used to play in band, like uh, Christian. I'm still with yeah. him. We, we still play in a uh, band together. Um, who, who, who else? Um, Danny and I still go yeah, to school with him and everything. Um, you, you, you might already know that a lot of Plainfield East students go to North Central. And, uh, <laughs> it's either that or UIC. It's one of the two. Yeah, yeah. That's- it's like half the half the high school population went there. To be honest, I don't know about your class, but like half my class went to UIC. Yeah, definitely. I um, 
a lot of people say that uh, North Central is like um, Plain Field East 2.0, which like I could kind of see that. I could kinda... <laughs> I'm saying though, because I mean that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty small school though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's in Naperville. Yeah, it is in Naperville, and yeah. and the reason the reason a lot of students from our school go there, especially in the music department, is because three out of the four music directors went here. Oh um, really? Yeah. Um, I did not know that. Yeah, Miss K, the the choir director, Mr. Lesniak went here as well. I actually, I actually go to school with his nephew Ryan. Ooh. Yeah, and he's also a music ed, kind of following the f- same footsteps. So that's pretty imagine. Cool. Imagine if he goes back to <laughs> he goes to back to playing fieldies, man. Yeah, and he's like the new band director. That's crazy. That'd be crazy. Funny you say that, because um, did you hear who the new choir director is? No, I don't, who is it? Do you remember Kelly? Oh, I do remember her actually. Yeah. She's the, she's new? She's the new so is she the like, new is she like running it now? Or uh, she's she's the assistant choir director, which is uh, super cool cuz I I guess it kind of came like full circle for her. Dang. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I would probably do that too. Like if I was a teacher or something like that, I'd probably go back there. See what's good. Yeah, That's you know, cool. be like what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> well like you and christian are in like choir too right because i could have sworn i saw someone like instagram or something like that um we're in the same acapella group acapella yeah because you guys had some like some really cool um pictures that i saw because it was like oh, some yeah. squad type stuff yeah you guys were I, all looking like maroon or something like that yeah that like, is our color maroon maroon yeah. and gold yeah I, I think you might have seen uh pictures from icca it's what it's called it's like that uh that thing that you saw in Pitch Perfect is basically that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that. I was like, I, I honestly didn't even know because I'm surprised Danny wasn't in a, he wasn't in a choir either. Because he was yeah. singing too. Yeah. Uh, so there's like the choir program, like the official like choral one that you, where you like, like dress up in like your dresses and tuxedos and stuff like that. But then there's the acapella group, which is like the the extracurricular kind of stuff. Oh, okay. uh, Dan, yeah, Danny's in the the official one. Me and Christian, I I used to be in the choir program, but uh, I couldn't fit, it fit it into my schedule, so uh, I just stuck mm-hmm. with the acapella ones. Copy. Danny is once again killing it in like the top choirs and stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, I was about to say because he was good. Yeah, and he's like in like the the theater shows that we do over here and stuff like that. Ooh. Super fun. I gotta go over there and see a show or something. Because you guys are like down the street from um, downtown Naperville, right? Yeah, literally, um, depending on where you are on campus, we're a block away from it. Dang, that's but, crazy. Yeah, because I didn't even know at first, I didn't even know where North Central was, like exactly. Like, yeah. to be totally true, I didn't even know it was in Naperville. But mm-hmm. like, I was in Naperville a little while ago. And I just, and I was driving around and I just beat that. I was like, oh, okay. I thought I was going to see one of you guys, like, popping around. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and you said that St. Francis is located in, like, Joliet or something? Yeah, it's, like, it's by Joliet. I don't even know if it's, like, by um, JJC or not, because I haven't really seen it around. But, I, yeah, it's in, like, the Joliet area. It's pretty decent. Okay, that's it's- cool. Is there, um, do you have any friends that go to St. Francis that I would know of that we all went to high school with? To the truth, I don't, I don't think so. But at the really? same time, like, my memory is, like, horrible. Like, I don't really know a lot of people by, like, your name. Like, yeah. if I see, your, like, if I see your face, then, like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, you went there. But, yeah, I relate to that. Um, no, Megan, Megan actually goes there. Megan. Megan uh, Clendenning. Oh, yeah, that's who I thought. I thought she went there. That's cool. Yeah, I could see. What's up? I was saying that's that's really cool. About how, yeah, yeah. Um... No, she transferred from somewhere. I just don't remember where. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's it, <laughs> really. I don't think you really know anybody else that goes there. Yeah. Well, cool. I, I'm glad to hear that uh, that you've been, like, just chilling. Things have been going well. Stuff like that. Yeah, man. I mean, I feel like once you get older, it's like... <laughs> You just start to <laughs> window down a little bit. Like you start to get into real life. You know, you, you don't want a bunch of stuff on your plate. Yeah, I felt that. I don't know if that's how you roll or. or <laughs> I don't know. I guess I. Yeah, just go with the flow, really. Stuff like do whatever like might be coming. And of course, like right now, life is kind of unpredictable with everything going on and stuff like that. 
Facts, yeah. How has uh, how has school been affected with uh, with this whole thing? Uh, I mean, well, most of like last semester they had all classes uh, get moved online, and like for me, like I don't I don't know if you have lab. You probably don't have any science classes, do you? Um, no, not with my major. But we this is a huge liberal arts school, so the labs have been like super different as well. From what yeah. I know. For our labs, we were like, they basically all got shut down. And then for this semester, like, at least for me, like, our labs are, they're not really done by the students as much anymore. It's more so, like, the professor doing the hard work, which yeah. kind of sucked, but, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what about you guys? Like, do you guys have stuff like that? Yeah, so I, um, I'm majoring in, like, um, like, the media field and stuff like that with minoring in film. And... It's kind of hard to do because I, I do like a lot of computer lab stuff and everything because uh, we have to like work on a bunch of like Adobe programs and different stuff like that. And once the uh, last semester when all the classes were shut down, we had to cancel like a, a bunch of projects that we had been working on. And apart from that, all, a lot of the extracurriculars like the acapella group that me and Christian are in, that was canceled. And mm-hmm. even uh, even marching band too, that we're doing things like super, super different this year. We're barely even having a show. So. Yeah, you guys are bunch of bands actually pretty good, aren't you? Yeah, we, um, we, we're like kind of a relatively small band, but of course I guess that would happen with like a small school. But mm-hmm. last year was super fun. It was probably the best season because North mm-hmm. Central, the football team made it to NCAA national championships and they won. Whoa! Yeah, so we uh, we all got to go down to Texas with the football team and uh, be at the game and stuff, and we like Word. got to play down there. That's pretty was, dope. How was that? It was fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I feel like the staff at North Central always like to play up how North Central is like a historical school, which, like, in my opinion, I feel like any school could really say that. Like, if, how historical can you <laughs> can you be? But that was like the first time I actually felt like I was like witnessing like like my school's history like in the making and stuff, right. and not not a lot not a lot of people got to go on this trip. It was only the football team, and and they had if students wanted to go, they had to pay like two hundred dollars to like get a seat on the bus or something. The marching band got to go for free, so Ooh, we got there to, you go. Yeah, it was super. How did fun. they set you guys up though? Did you guys get like a hotel room or? Yeah, we did get hotels, and. Ooh. It was like super close to the stadium and things like that. And even even though we had to ride the coach bus for like 20, 20-ish hours, it was still fun, you know? I mean, the coach bus was probably probably pretty cool, though. It was probably pretty comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, crowded sometimes, but comfortable. It was better than a school bus that we had to take to those competitions in high school. You remember oh, that? Oh, my God. That thing started, man. Those are horrible. I mean, it wasn't all like – too well, you guys did go down to like Florida that one time. I don't know if we you did. went on like those Florida trips. Yeah, uh, senior year, I went on the Florida trip. Yeah. Did you go on the bus for that or did you? We did coach did you... bus. Oh, okay. All right, coach bus. All right, there you go. Because I wouldn't imagine you doing like a school bus all the way down to Florida. That's a little obsessive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah I, st- I still remember those like late night bus rides to the competitions and stuff like those that. Kind of... Did you like that? I kind of like those. Those were those... like. Yeah, those were fun because uh, we, we were. I'm pretty sure a lot of people understand like band kids and how they are and stuff like that. <laughs> That's kind of, mm-hmm. it's kind of become like a, like a meme on TikTok and a bunch of other places as well. But like the truth is band kids have a lot of fun and we both like know we've experienced it. Really do. I mean, like I I feel like the bus rides are probably the best, like no matter, no matter what place we place in, but I mean, I yeah. just feel like the, the bus rides are probably the best. I feel like the ride back was better than the ride too. Yeah, because like the the energy and uh, from what we had just like a uh, like did at the competition was there and stuff like that. Right, we placed good that night. Stuff like yeah, that. I mean, I just got it, it got lit. I mean, we were in drumline too. Like drumline was getting lit all the time. Like, no, we yeah, were, drumline's the best crazy. section. We all know that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like forget about the other sections, man. Like percussions just go crazy, especially if, like when we get really into it. Like and we sound really really good. Like come on. Exactly. Yeah. And we, we were always the section that was in the back of the bus. And where, it doesn't even matter if you're a band kid or not. The back of the bus is always the funnest part. It's a, it's a territorial thing. It's, oh, it's yeah. full territory. 
Mm-hmm. You gotta remember when like the some section sat in our sat in our seats. Uh, like, we went nuts for that. That was crazy. Yeah, everyone <laughs> always really tries funny. to race to there, get that good seat. Yeah, I was like, not think about it. That was kind of funny. It's like, why do we need that seat so badly? It was fun. It was fun. Though, man. It was fun. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, where are you at right now? Uh, what do you mean, like? Like, wh- where are you? Are you like at oh. school or something? Or are you at home? Oh no, no, yeah, I'm at home right now. Like, I was just at the at the library. Okay. Um, earlier today, as born. <laughs> Whoever listened to this, you can see how exciting my life is right now. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm just chilling at home, man. I'm trying to prepare for this. Prepare for this nicely in the right way. Yeah. Try to get in my zen. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, um, we were going to talk about video games and stuff like that. Yeah, man. I mean, have you, do you play video games a lot still? Yeah, I do. I do play a lot of video games. I'm, I'm still a gamer as, a, as I've always been. I, um, <laughs> I, I think it was like in high school, junior year, I, uh, I got an Xbox. That was like the um like the newest big console i ever got mm-hmm. and uh and then i stuck with that for a while and then seen my, when i was a senior christian actually got me a switch for christmas what yeah <laughs> i was uh me me and christian uh were like super close at that time and uh and i was always texting him uh when he was like at north central because you know that was when i was like heavily considering this school and I, I guess I was always telling him how much I wanted a Switch. And uh, I was working at Walmart at the time. And I, mm-hmm. I was always playing on, like, sometime when I, like, clocked out, I would go to the electronics department and get a Switch finally. But then one time, um, he, uh, when I got home from work, he was waiting at my house. And he had a gift. And when I opened up, it was a Switch. And I was, like, oh. so excited. Yeah. Well, was the kid like just because, or was it like a birthday, or what? It was uh, so yeah, it was Christmas, and uh, I guess that he um, he saw how much I won, and I, and then uh, that's what I got for Christmas from him. Yeah. Wow. Okay, bro, friends. Okay. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I, I mess with that, man. <laughs> I don't know anybody that would just buy me a switch. So you got you got some good friends so far, so far. Yeah. Not I know. That, I think my first console was like I don't even know if you count it as a console, but it was like um, what was it, like a Game Boy? Do you know what that is? Well, that's definitely a, yeah. I know it. I'm not. I'm not oh, that, yeah, all right, that cool, young. Cool. Yeah. No, uh, I think that was my first console as well. Like as far as like handhelds, but I I'd say that counts yeah. as a console. It's definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, if you if you're cons- if you're saying like something that you can't just carry around, I definitely had like an Xbox. I think an Xbox 360 was my first. Mm-hmm. first actual console i think i still have it actually i'm not gonna lie mm-hmm. i don't know why i didn't sell it um but yeah no game boy and then it was and then it was ds I DS love was those. crazy first of all when we were when ds first came out when we were like kids yeah mm-hmm. that was a, that, that was, was like revolutionary I'm everyone saying, had one everyone was playing it i was saying like i was like i was on it man Especially, yeah. and like, and Pokemon was getting it, like, for me, bro. Like, I was addicted to, to Pokemon, bro. Yeah, was that your favorite game at the time? It really was. It really was, to be honest. Because I started out with, like, like green, like, Pokemon green and blue or something like that on, um, on GameCube. Okay. And then, yeah, they moved to DS with, with, I don't even know what they had. I forgot, to be honest. But they had, like, I don't even know how many generations they got, like, 10 right now. Probably something no. like that. I don't even know. I mean, the games that I played were probably not played by like regular people, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I was like, either it was either like Pokemon or something like that, or like FIFA, or like I don't even know. I think I played Destiny for a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. I never actually I never played Destiny. Uh, I played Skyrim for like the shortest time. And as for Pokemon, I think the earliest Pokemon game I played was Emerald. Which was on the Game Boy. Ooh. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, Skyrim was you say you played Skyrim? Yeah, for like the shortest time I did. Oh that that game takes forever to finish though. Yeah, it's so because it's like it's open world, you know? 
right and And i feel like like, quest right yeah yeah quest that's like the main thing about it and um i feel like the reason i didn't i didn't really finish it is because i kind of i was playing a lot of open worlds other open worlds games at the same time and it's super hard to play a bunch of open worlds at once i believe Mm -hmm. i was uh i was doing one of the gta's skyrim as well as something else that required a lot of like effort to put in and right. like one open world game is already a lot to keep track of because like all the open world games are really like well made and stuff like that right but you could only really shift your attention to one if you want really want to like get into it and that was the <laughs> hardest part about it well so were you like on skyrim the most or were you like on like gta the most or what uh, probably GTA because I've always been a huge Rockstar fan. I started out with Bully, which was the like my my favorite one. That game literally, I, when I say change my life, I mean change my life. I love it so much. That is a game. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that game. Did they make a second one? I think they did. No, they didn't. Then no? literally, yeah, they've they've just been milking all their uh, GTA Five content with like online and stuff, but. Literally, the, the Bully fan base has been begging Rockstar to make a second game. It came out, and the first one came out in 2006, mm-hmm. and they still haven't made a new one. Wow, 2006. That is such a long time ago. Oh yeah, did you goodness. ever play that game? Honestly, no, but I watched, like, I always watched, like, those um, walkthroughs of it. Because uh-huh. I love, I love, like, those storyline games. Mm-hmm. Especially when there's, like like multiple characters to follow that you can play as and they all like interact with each other like those right. are those are the games that i really like to they really like to watch mm-hmm. um no man but yeah i forgot about that game it was like it was that game and it was like the last of us or something like that last of us and, is on uh that's a it's it started on playstation 3 that was the first uh console that ever came out on then they remastered it yeah for ps4 and that yeah. Did, did you play Last of Us? No, that was another game that I that I watched because I didn't have a, I didn't have a PlayStation. So I was, I was an Xboxer. Yeah, let me tell you. So, Last of Us, like the storyline, I'm not sure if you know it or not, but it is mm. beautiful. Like the story that like it like brings you along. It's literally like an emotional experience. Must That's what I'm saying. Like I, oh, that game was, that game was great, honestly. And it was like it was like one of those. I honestly don't remember because it was a while ago. But like, wasn't it like a like a game where you basically like make a bunch of choices and like, I don't even know, like each choice like influences something else. Uh, no, Last of Us is not one of those games where you like uh, where it's like press X for this option, press circle for that option. It's uh, yeah. um, I think you're you might be thinking of like uh, one of the Walking Dead games because that's also one of those like big like adventure games where you, right. you like kind of control the storyline for that. Uh, mm-hmm. Last of Us, on the other hand, it. A lot of people say it has like a controversial ending, which I could totally understand. Right. Um, well, first, do you, do you know how it ends? How does it end? You gotta remind me. So, um, you know how you're tasked, you're, you're the character Joel, and you're tasked with escorting the, uh, a 13-year-old, I believe. Her name is Ellie across the country. And you're, you live in like this zombie apocalyptic world, mm. uh, to put it into easy terms, and you find out that um there there's this team of like medics i believe they are they're called the fireflies they want they're after ellie because they want um to like get her dna to reverse engineer that uh that infection that she holds Mm -hmm. to find a cure and a vaccine for it and it ends the game ends again these are spoilers coming ahead (laughs) So, <laughs> if you're listening to this, you're about to get like a whole bunch of spoilers. Man. Yeah, right. So, so it ends where um, Ellie is is captured in the hospital, and the doctors are about to perform surgery on her. And if if they want to create a vaccine, that means it's they're gonna have to kill Ellie in the process with it. And Joel, Joel, at the beginning of the game, at like the the prelogue to it. It starts out where he had a uh, a young daughter who I believe was nine or thirteen, either the same age or nine, and she was killed while uh, trying to escape soldiers when this infection started, right. and that kind of like took an emotional toll on Joel for the entire game, and so having to escort Ellie across the entire country over time, 
you, you're going to be spending a lot, a lot of time together. So you eventually like kind of grow close to each other right. without even realizing it. So when Joel found out that Ellie was, was going to be killed, he, he had to make a big decision. Was he going to let Ellie go and save the world and like finally find a vaccine and, and this terrible disease that he's been living in for like 20 years plus Mm -hmm. while also having to deal with the emotional pain of losing a young girl like a daughter figure all over again or was he gonna have to kind of be stubborn or selfish and rescue ellie and just make a run for it Mm -hmm. but then have to deal with continue have to live in this world of infection and stuff like that so i feel I feel like the the audience while playing the game was expecting Joel to like have to make the decision of like let her go again, but that's not what happened. He went with the other decision. He saved Ooh. Ellie, and he is the reason the world is still in peril. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. That. Yeah, a lot of people like say like, was that a good ending or was that a bad ending? You know. Oh, well, I mean, what do you think of it? Like, do you think it's a good ending? So. That that kind of brings up the topic about how is Joel a villain, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know, like I, I feel I understand why Joel would do that, but I under but I kinda understand like why it would have been better to like just let it happen. Mm-hmm. But also I could get like the emotional pain that he would have to go through all over again. Yeah, because like what kind of decision is that? Like that that's <laughs> that's messed up. Decision. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then, uh, again, like, you're kind of dealing with the whole world here. He made the decision that, like, would, like, kind of impact the entire world, and he went with technically the wrong one. Yeah, it seems like it. It seems like you did get the wrong one. Yeah, and uh, they actually came out with The Last of Us Part 2 after long, long waiting. They finally released the sequel. The crazy part is I just saw, like, the the i don't even know if you want to call it a trailer or not like Mm -hmm. (laughs) i just saw like i guess the the trailer for it um like a little while ago to be honest that's what like just maybe like just made it click my mind just now Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah and uh, i uh i heard that people so i'm kind of playing my way through it right now because i also have a ps4 and um i i've heard that it is not been getting good reviews that it's really yeah i heard that a lot of people have been like disappointed and it's the first game is much better mm-hmm. i heard that uh people are saying that because it they're saying that had lazy writing bad character stories stuff like mm-hmm. that um, okay. i'm still playing my way through it and um as we go along i, I could like kind of see some of the things that they're talking about like bad reviews but i also see like very good things about it so, right I mean, what would you rate it like? From what I've played so far, um, it's actually been a while since I've actually played it because I've been busy. But mm-hmm. from what I've played so far, I would say uh, I'm, it's going at like a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not, that's not horrible. I mean, like, how long does it take you to, to like, finish it? Because I've been playing, like, I've played games where, like, the reviews were bad just because, like, the the players thought that the game wasn't long enough or like they finished the storyline too fast. Mm-hmm. So the first game I believe takes 13 hours to play and the second game I believe they were saying like up to like 34 36 something mm-hmm. like that. So it's 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 a very extended game. Uh, it's made by Naughty Dog which are the same people who made Uncharted, the Uncharted series. Oh right. Yeah. That game goes crazy too, because there's like a there's a bunch of different um, sequels for that one, I think. Yeah, I believe they're on uh, Uncharted five or six. Uh, I personally, yeah. I personally never really played Uncharted. I tried to play the the first couple of games, the Nathan Drake collection, because I believe a while back they were uh, the little bundle was free on the PlayStation Store, and mm-hmm. I think maybe I didn't like it as much as beca- uh, as Last of Us because I was playing the remastered version where you could like kind of tell that it was kind of old. So mm-hmm. maybe that was the reason the graphics weren't as good. But I don't know. As I played it more, I realized I don't. I'm kind of more into the apocalyp- apocalyptic Last of Us styled games rather than the Uncharted Indiana Jones style. You know. Right. 
I mean, I was like, I was playing games like I like the open world games. I really messed with too, because I was I was like a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Like that was my that was looking my game too that I played on Xbox. But it was so oh my god! Like the storyline was great and I liked it, but it's like oh my god, that game was kind of hard for me <laughs> after a while. Like after like I can I completed like the like the storyline. It's like. It's like, what do you do after? You know, like I feel like that's like the biggest thing with like, with open world games like that, like like that or like Skyrim, I guess. You know, it's like once you finish, you know, every single quest and like, you know, once you finish like the whole storyline, it's like, what do you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, I, I know that a lot of with a lot of the open world games like that, where you complete the main storyline, but if you look in the stats, like you've only really completed like thirty percent of the game. Right. It's actually crazy because you have like all the other unlockables and like side quests to do and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, something that you would expect from like a open world game. Yeah. To be fair, like I'm not even gonna lie, I never actually like I never like finished finish the entire Assassin's Creed like game that I that I was on because I don't I don't remember which one I was on or which one I was playing because there's like oh my god like seven of those. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was like the thing that was like messing me up was because like there were there were like these they were like these forts I don't even I don't even know what to call them <laughs> like, they're like these forts that you basically have to take over like all by yourself and like each there were like levels to each like you know boss or like each you know enemy that was past like the door or something like that or like or like past the wall and I swear I could not defeat those guys, man. It was like the hardest thing ever to me. I, it was so frustrating, honestly. Like the most frustrating thing ever. I feel like I'm always uh, in that situation when I'm playing video games where I'm trying to complete this one mission, but I just can't. And I've even tried like looking up video tutorials on YouTube to get past it. I still can't beat it. And then I do the thing where I just don't touch the game for like, like a month. Yeah, that's like that's literally exactly what I did. I was like, bro, come on. Because like they would do they would do something on the in the walkthrough, like the tutorial on this, like, bro, how do you do that? Like I would do it like one time, like accidental. Like you ever mm-hmm. do that? Like you like you like you you like defeat somebody on accident and then you gotta do it again. You don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> yeah. It's like what did I just do that Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, I I don't even know what I did, but I pushed some button. And the crazy part is, I don't even know what button at the time. I didn't even know what button I pushed, but I defeated like one of the one of like the upper level officers, right? And like another, the thing was like, I don't even know. I wasn't even like fighting them like how I was supposed to, because like I would fight like the easier guys first for some reason, and then like I would let the harder guys or like the harder officers like accumulate like they would just like show up out of nowhere right yes. so like after i just defeated like one of the harder officers on accident there are about like seven ten other dudes like you know, waiting for me and yeah that that one didn't go well i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i feel like what really sucks in a video game is where you can't get past a certain part of the mission because you messed something up and because there, there was one time where i was following a tutorial and the tutorial said like oh, if you look to the left, you'll find a bridge there and you just have to cross it. And here's me that just accidentally broke the bridge. <laughs> I can't even go across. And I like, I reset my game, you know, to probably get it back. And it's not there. It's actually gone. Oh. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what the heck what do, do you do, do now? now? <laughs> like, what do you do now at that point? Honestly, what did you even do though? Like, if it was, if the bridge was gone, did you just restart the whole thing? I I don't know. I I remember I was like walking around trying to find a way and I there was literally nothing I could do. And then I think one day I just logged in and I was already on to like to the next section of the mission. So I guess the game mm-hmm. I, I I know that like a lot of new games they have that feature where it's like oh, we noticed that you've been doing bad at this mission. So do you want to skip it cuz you kind of suck at it? <laughs> so <laughs> so I guess the I guess the game recognized that and said like, yeah, we're just going to put you on the other side of the bridge. You're good. And yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. If that's the case, like, you're never going to finish the game at that Yeah, point. literally. <laughs> no, like, I mean, I definitely did that, too, because, like, there was, there was definitely a level where I had to, where I had to, like, get to a certain point. Like, it was basically on the other side of the map. And I had to, 
I don't even know. Like it, it's a, it's with Assassin's Creed too. You know how? Have you ever played Assassin's Creed before? Assassin's Creed is one that I did not play a lot. No. Oh yeah. So like, think about Assassin's Creed. It's like, dude is basically like a parkour legend. Like you know, he can basically run up buildings, do whatever, do whatever he wants. Basically. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I had to get to the other side of the map, and it was like, it was one of like the final, the final things in like this actual storyline. So you know how that is, like the the final like final boss or like yeah. whatever the final part of the storyline is always like basically partially impossible so like i had to get to the other side of the map right and he had to like like the, the thing that was so frustrating was like i had to get like to a certain point and he can he can parkour so he can basically go anywhere he wants right mm-hmm. but like i had messed something up somehow some way this is how bad i am at video games like i just messed it up somehow and I, I I broke something and he couldn't he couldn't parkour he couldn't like jump across this like big gap and I was like you are you're you're, you're this is Assassin's Creed you should basically be able to do whatever you want right now how can you not jump over this ledge but you can jump off of a 60 story church into exactly. a little barrel for yes. us oh my god I was like come on yeah. man, video game me. logic right there I know <laughs> that made no sense to me, bro. I was like, how is this even? How is this even a thing? Uh, that infuriated me. To be honest, the logic was uh, out the yeah. window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, did you ever play any of the the video games that are based off of Marvel characters, like Spider Man? Ooh, yeah, like a like a while. Do they they still probably make Spider Man games? I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, so they they actually just announced for the coming out on the PS5 the Miles Spider Man game. Oh really? Yeah, Damn, the next game. So cool. I think uh it, the the se- I'm not sure if it's like a exactly a sequel where the storyline continues, but I have the the other Spider Man game that came out two years ago on the on the ps4 Mm -hmm. it's another exclusive of theirs because you know i we all know that playstation has like the best exclusives and stuff like that and um so i played the first spider-man it was amazing the graphics were super good and like just like the the web sling mechanics were amazing and uh Mm -hmm. and they just announced i believe it was at e3 they uh they're making another game which came super fast because i i guess they're they're kind of Going doing it at a better rate than Rockstar because Rockstar takes forever to release new games, but uh, <laughs> understandably because those games are really good too. But uh, mm-hmm. for for how good Spider Man was, I'm surprised how fast they came out with the with the next game. No, nah, it's like I think there's a big difference between the type of games that you play and the type of games that I played, Jason. Because the games that the last Spider Man game that I played was like on GameCube, bro. Like that's how oh, long wow. we're talking. Like, like that was a really really long time ago but that game like i i kind of know what you're talking about because i'm pretty sure you can like I, is that one an open world too where you can basically swing from building yep. to building you know okay yeah, that's right, it. Cool, yeah. so that, I, I guess that's cool that wave is still going on with spider-man but um yeah man that was like a lot that was like the last time that i played um spider-man like pretty standard storyline too you know uncle ben mm-hmm. died you know you gotta kill the robber the whole the whole ordeal yeah you know, you know. yeah but i feel I like know. every uh, i was yeah. just say i feel like every single superhero has the same storyline like some some family member of them dies and then they gotta go uh, avenge their name through superheroing stuff like that yeah definitely <laughs> it's definitely it's like a it's like a john wick type of feel yeah. yeah something tragic happens so you gotta basically murder or defeat everybody in your path or something like that mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> uh, i like i liked uh spider-man though i think that was like my favorite uh superhero game at the time yeah i uh i i 100 percent know that you will love the new spider-man games really because, yeah if you if you like if you if you liked the gamecube games you are going to literally like be in love with the PlayStation ones. You're oh, gonna man. like. You're gonna play it. Like, have you seen any playthroughs of it? Of the new, the new Spider-Man game. Um. Yeah, the one that uh that is like on PS4 right now. I do. I have not. Oh uh, well. Worried. Yeah. If you if you don't have the chance to play it, at least watch the the playthroughs of it because they those games are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you're talking you're talking a lot of stuff, but you're making me want to buy a PS5 or something like that. 
Yo, the PS5. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the PS5, though? Honestly, I think that's... I mean, I'm an Xbox guy. I probably will be until like, the day that I die. Mm-hmm. But, like, PS5, man. I, my brother had a PS5, and we used to rock on that more than the Xbox. I'm sorry for all of like, the people who are, like, pro Xbox or pro or pro yeah. PS5 or something like that. But, um... Uh yeah man I mean I think it's I think it's it's a it's a decent looking console I'm not gonna lie I like the way that it looks to be honest and I mean if there's some decent games coming out on it then I might have to contemplate getting it because I've been trying to get back into video games so badly bro I just don't have the time yeah you know I, mean? I feel that yeah I uh, ever since getting to college I haven't been able to game like I used to yeah. um, still do it but not as much as I as I want to uh, mm-hmm. so. As a person that has a, because I, I have the Xbox, PS4, and Switch, and I, I, I like how the the PS5 is like going so far. Um, must I say, you probably have seen the memes about how it kind of looks like a Wi-Fi router. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, 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 not gonna lie, when I saw the trailer, I was like, it's, yeah. it's different, you know, it's different. Like, I don't know, it it, it kind of looks the 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 new curvature of it. I guess I'm not like a super big fan of, but I, I could appreciate like um, how techy it looks. I guess that's the right word for that. But, um, I mean, it's a P- it's a PS5, man. At the end of the day, it's like it could look like a pile of poop, man, and people would probably still buy it. Yeah, it's to be true. honest, like, yeah, and how it performs a, and stuff. Yeah, literally. I mean, like those those um like conventions like E3, like those are probably like I feel like that that's a more attended um more attended event than like the apple update or something like that you know what i mean like yeah yeah you have you have a point there because apple is is attended by like all the apple enthusiasts but and it just covers one company but e3 covers right, all yeah, the gaming all, companies so yeah. a lot of people are there yeah i'm trying to have you ever been to those because they're like pretty lit I'm like, I'm like, i've not been to any like e3 or gaming conventions no no, no game. Not even like what? You haven't been to a gaming convention? I no. Now that I think of it, I have not. Dang, that is crazy. I forget. Like I forget what it's called. Wow, what is it called? It's like it's like some type of convention, and um, like it's in like Cali, like every year or something like that. God, I forgot what it's called. I'm like drawing a blank. I was thinking about it earlier today too. Um. Yeah, what is it called? Like they all like basically like dress up as like video game characters. Oh, um, it, it's one of the cons. I'm pretty sure. Uh, VidCon, Comic Con. Vid, Comic Con. Comic Con, yes. Yeah, Comic Con. Comic Con was crazy too. It almost went, but oof. I've had uh, I've had a lot of friends that go that go to Comic Con. They like dress yeah. up as characters. Yeah. I mean, what would you dress up as? Like, who would you dress up? <sighs> oh, that's really hard because um. I don't know, like I, I don't think I'd, I'd dress up as Spider Man because I feel like, uh, like I, while I love the Spider Man games, I'm like not super into the Spider Man game to dress up as that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to dress dress up as Mario because that's kind of, <laughs> yeah, a little old. I could totally see you doing that though. That's the crazy part. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, I could see myself doing that, <laughs> but um. I don't know like I guess I have to just like really think hard about like what character I'd want to dress up as because there's so many so many different characters that I, that I love in video games mm-hmm. but yeah uh, do you have any idea of who you would dress up as honestly I I mean I don't know if it's because if it's because it's the only real game that I actually played or if it's just like I'm a really big fan but I definitely I'd probably do Assassin's Creed I'm not gonna lie I'd probably do it just because the dude's a pretty much a badass at this point yeah yeah that, I mean, that looks fun look crazy. yeah i um if i if i really had to pick one character see the problem with this character is that it's not super like costumey it's just like a mm-hmm. normal freaking guy it would be a uh, jimmy hopkins from bully oh really yeah because uh, only because yeah, like be pretty easy to to put together yeah, you know, that's why it's not so much of a costume. So I guess I would have to put, like, some type of twist on it and everything. Right. But, yeah. Because um, I, f- I, I want to go to Comic-Con. I want to go full out with the costume. I need to choose a good character. So like oh, that. man, you, 
you should do like one of those uh because some people go like real crazy with it like they got like machinery and stuff like that like stuff that moves and crazy yeah, stuff and like, parts and stuff like that yeah like, that's that, crazy that, yeah that stuff goes hard i don't know how you make that stuff mm-hmm. <laughs> or like how you go about doing it but those, those cosplayers they spend like thousands of dollars on their costumes to like dress yeah. up yeah i, I respect it because it looks pretty cool not gonna lie it does look pretty cool i mean it's a it's a real it's a real uh it, i mean it goes viral in like two seconds like, oh yeah <laughs> Especially the harder that you try for it, like you know, you go crazy, but uh, you you do what you got to do. But um, yeah, no, I mean, I've I've always wanted to go to, like one of those Comic Con conventions to be honest, because it sounds really fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a bucket lister, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you go once to experience how it is, and maybe go another time. Who knows? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I um. Apart from Comic Con, there's also VidCon, which is like a kind of like the YouTuber convention. Yeah, YouTube. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were talking a little bit, uh, a little bit about YouTubers, and you said you watched Dashy. Yeah, yeah, Dashy, man. That, that <laughs> I'm like an OG subscriber. That's the thing. Like, ever since um, he had Dashy XP, his first channel, mm-hmm. and then the Dashy Games, like I was on that. I mean, rest in peace to like the Dashy XP. You like barely make skits, but like the, like the the Dashy Games one, like that stuff goes hard. I um yeah. I and I'm not I I would definitely not call myself an OG uh, like Dashy fan. Uh, I I watched like his videos every now and then because they were pretty funny. Um, and then once I um my roommate who's downstairs, he showed me a bunch of Dashy videos and like I, I he he's super funny and I, I like how I like when he rages you already understand yeah <laughs> he has like this video of like him like uh playing those uh games that like basically they just scare you the whole time like they're like it's like a jump scare kind of game mm-hmm. um and he has like a, literally like a compilation of him getting scared <laughs> <laughs> and that is like the funniest video I've ever seen in my life like that was so funny um no, but I watched, like, a lot of Mario Maker. Like, I don't know why, but, like, that was, like, a really good game to watch. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's because it's, like, in that rage genre, and you could get, like, a good reaction out of whoever's playing. And Dashy's the perfect person to watch for yeah, that. perfect person to watch, exactly. I mean, I think I got a lot of, like, video game exposure through Dashy, to be honest, because, like, I mean, I didn't play a lot of video games, but I liked, I love to watch the walkthroughs. Mm-hmm. So like, and he played like all types of games. Like he he played Bully too. Like that's how I know about Bully. Mm. Um, and he played some other game after that. That was like that was basically another one of like those storyline games. I forget what it's called too. Um, but it was with like, maybe you may maybe you know, but it's like uh, I think they have like two or three versions of this game now. Um, but it's basically like um, that girl. That's like this girl, right? And I think her dad, her dad died in like a, in like an accident or something like that. In like a, um, in like a car accident, I think. And like her mom is like, her mom is like a pretty, like a pretty bad mom. I don't know how to really describe it. And like her best friend is like a junkie, I think. Um, and like she basically like goes throughout life and you like have to make like these just like these decisions and then each decision brings you like to a different part of the storyline do you know what I'm t- this is like ringing a bell um i i know a lot of those games where you you know have to like make the different decisions and stuff like mm-hmm. that um not not sure which game you're talking about though yeah it's like i don't even know she like it was a girl she had like brown hair i think she'd always wear like a, um like a purple sweatshirt <laughs> that's what it was in, like the first game i don't know i don't know what it's called like i feel like once we get done with this like i'm gonna think of it later and it's gonna like pop it <laughs> um yeah no you play like a lot of cool games though man like i definitely watched um i definitely watched super mario maker though the most i love mario maker yeah i i haven't <laughs> i haven't played it myself but mm. like to watch like you said it's super funny to watch yeah <laughs> i mean it's like once he like goes through it, like he goes like through the whole thing in like one run, it's like pretty satisfying to me personally. Yeah. What's what's even funnier is that he gets right at the end and then dies and he, he has to go through yeah. all that. <laughs> oh man, that is so funny. Dude like goes nuts over it, you know? Like Yeah. I don't know I don't know if it's like just his actual personality or that's like what he did in a later video and then 
he just you know adapted to it as a personality or something like that mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah um, I mean, it is fun to watch but <laughs> yeah what are, are there any other youtubers you like to watch um like for gaming wise honestly yeah. I, i'm pretty sure it was um it was dash pretty much all the way but like i also watched a little bit of ninja because i was trying to get on the wave you know with him in fortnite yeah um, i i used to i used to watch ninja when fortnite was like bigger like in 2017 when it was like really coming out everything mm-hmm. uh, but I, ever since then i i don't really watch him anymore yeah yeah well like, i didn't even know about him until the um, like until he played with like drake or something like that then he like oh my god he blew up yeah, that's when he actually blew up and stuff like that yeah like, he went crazy over that you like, do get like and he's like super successful right now you know he has like his own shoe yeah the 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 well, are they adidas or nikes i think they're adidas i think it's adidas yeah yeah but it's like crazy bro i think he's like the first and like only gamer that has his like own shoe mm-hmm but yeah. people were kind of frying him about that. Do you remember that? Like, people were, like, on his case about this shit. They were, yeah. Things and there was, there was also a bunch of, like, controversy about how um, he was salty that he died in, a, in one round. And then so he reported the player for stream sniping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I remember that, man. I don't even know. Like, it's, I'm pretty sure Fortnite's still going, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, mainly, like, the, the younger people play it. And it's it's honestly not not the game that it used to be because they keep adding a bunch of like weird updates and stuff like that. Uh, I don't play it much, but I, like everyone else, I played it a lot when it came out. But, yeah, I mean, I I really wanted to hop on it because I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was like a PC game for a little bit, wasn't it? I think it might have started out there. Yeah, and then they once, and then once it got big, they ported it to all the other consoles or maybe it's our it's been everywhere ever since the beginning but yeah i mean i liked it i'm not gonna lie i like i kind of like to watch the gameplay just because you know it's fortnite at this point um but they got like i remember they got a lot of heat a little while ago too um about something like something that uh they were like i think they got a copyright yeah, because uh, the some of the dance move emotes that they had in there, were like uh, <laughs> were like real dances that uh, they they never gave credit to or stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I I the thing is, like, I honestly didn't even know that you could get a copyright for like a dance move. I thought at first I thought they were using like some like suspect type of music, um, or something like that. Like, I didn't think it was some <laughs> some dance moves. Mm-hmm. yeah but wow yeah obviously a lot of stuff has changed with like a bunch of video games and everything and it's it's just like crazy to see like how like video games that we used to play stuff that we play now and things are just like super different man i just you know think back thinking back to all the games that like you you just get like that nice nostalgia factor to it it's good mm-hmm yeah cool well i guess we could uh start wrapping it up it was cool talking to you it was good to catch up and uh talking about our favorite video games things like that and youtubers yeah man it was uh it was good it was, it was nice talking to you too man i didn't know i didn't even know you were a gamer like that <laughs> well yeah now you know now you know yeah now you know. <laughs> cool thank you so much for hopping on to real talk central podcast uh it was great having you and I guess I'll see you later then. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, of course. Josh, thank you so much for coming on to Real Talk Central. And thank you to everyone who tuned in. If you want to be in the next episode, be sure to send us a DM on Instagram at Real Talk Central Podcast. All one word. Apart from that, we're also open to any suggestions, feedback, conversation topics, and promos. This has been the Real Talk Central Podcast, and we'll see you in the car. Stress. It's a natural part of life. Everyone experiences it sometime, and it's just something you can't control. But what you can control is how you manage that stress. Well, luckily for you, I'm here to tell you about the Camuso Shift. You know that moment when you just have to stop and take a deep breath? 
Well, the shift helps you do just that. This is a necklace that has a small metal tube at the end of it, and this tube is specially engineered for you to take the proper deep breath. Apparently there is actually a right and wrong way to do it, something that I didn't know until I started using my shift. Inspired by the Kamuso monks of 17th century Japan, the shift uses modern science and ancient wisdom to decrease stress hormones, regulate blood pressure, loosen up muscle, and slow down your heartbeat. It's been highly acclaimed by many health professionals such as Scientific American, Healthline Media, Berkeley University of California, as well as Harvard Medical School. If you visit their website right now and use the code 18JasonM at checkout, you will receive 15% off on all orders. Support the podcast today, but more importantly, support your mental health.